vitamin D is the only nutrient your body produces when exposed to sunlight. However, up to 50% of the world's population may not get enough sun, and 40% of the United States residents are deficient in vitamin D. This is partly because people spend more time indoors, wear sunblock outside, and eat a western diet low in good sources of this vitamin. The recommended daily value, DV, is 800 to 20 mcg, of vitamin D per day from foods. If you don't get enough sunlight, your intake should likely be closer to 1000 to 25 mcg, per day. Here are healthy foods that are high in vitamin D. 1. Salmon. Salmon is a popular fatty fish and great source of vitamin D. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, Food Composition Database, 13.5 ounce, 100 gram, serving of farmed Atlantic salmon contains 526 U of vitamin D, or 66% of the DV. Whether the salmon is wild or farmed can make a big difference. On average, wild-caught salmon packs 988 U of vitamin D per 3.5 ounce, 100 gram, serving, or 124% of the DV. Some studies have found even higher levels in wild salmon, up to 1,300 D per serving. However, farmed salmon contains only 25% of that amount. Still, one serving of farmed salmon provides about 250 U of vitamin D, or 32% of the DV. 2. Herring and Sardines. Herring is a fish eaten around the world. It can be served raw, canned, smoked, or pickled. This small fish is also one of the best sources of vitamin D. Fresh Atlantic herring provides 216 a per 3.5 ounce, 100 gram, serving, which is 27% of the DV. If fresh fish isn't your thing, pickled herring is also a good source of vitamin D, providing 112 a per 3.5 ounce, 100 gram, serving, or 14% of the DV. However, pickled herring also contains a high amount of sodium, which some people consume too much of. Canned sardines are a good source of vitamin D as well, one can, 3.8 ounces, contains 177 U, or 22% of the DV. Other types of fatty fish are also good vitamin D sources. Halibut and mackerel provide 384 U and 360 U per half a fillet, respectively. 3. Cod liver oil. Cod liver oil is a popular supplement. If you don't like fish, taking cod liver oil can be key to obtaining certain nutrients that are unavailable in other sources. It's an excellent source of vitamin D, at about 448 U per teaspoon. 4.9 milliliters, it clocks in at a massive 56% of the DV. It has been used for many years to prevent and treat deficiency in children. Cod liver oil is likewise a fantastic source of vitamin A, with 150% of the DV in just one teaspoon, 4.9 milliliters. However, vitamin A can be toxic in high amounts. Therefore, be cautious with cod liver oil, making sure to not take too much. In addition, cod liver oil is high in omega-3 fatty acids, which many people are deficient in. 4. Canned Tuna. Many people enjoy canned tuna because of its flavor and easy storage methods. It's also usually cheaper than buying fresh fish. Canned light tuna packs up to 268 U of vitamin D in a 3.5 ounce, 100 gram, serving, which is 34% of the DV. It's also a good source of niacin and vitamin K. Unfortunately, canned tuna contains methylmercury, a toxin found in many types of fish. If it builds up in your body, it can cause serious health problems. However, some types of fish pose less risk than others. For instance, light tuna is typically a better choice than white tuna, it's considered safe to eat up to 6 ounces, 170 grams, per week. 5. Egg yolks. People who don't eat fish should know that seafood is not the only source of vitamin D. Whole eggs are another good source, as well as a wonderfully nutritious food. 
While most of the protein in an egg is found in the white, the fat, vitamins, and minerals are found mostly in the yolk. One typical egg yolk contains 37 of vitamin D, or 5% of the DV. Vitamin D levels in egg yolk depend on sun exposure and the vitamin D content of chicken feed. When given the same feed, pasture-raised chickens that roam outside in the sunlight produce eggs with levels 3 to 4 times higher. Additionally, eggs from chickens given vitamin D-enriched feed may have up to 6,000 to a vitamin D per yolk. That's a whopping 7 times the DV. Choosing eggs either from chickens raised outside or marketed as high in vitamin D can be a great way to meet your daily requirements. 6. Mushrooms. Excluding fortified foods, mushrooms are the only good plant source of vitamin D. Like humans, mushrooms can synthesize this vitamin when exposed to UV light. However, mushrooms produce vitamin D2, whereas animals produce vitamin D3. Though vitamin D2 helps raise blood levels of vitamin D, it may not be as effective as vitamin D3. Nonetheless, wild mushrooms are excellent sources of vitamin D2. In fact, some varieties pack up to 2300 per 3.5 ounce, 100 gram, serving, nearly three times the DV. On the other hand, commercially grown mushrooms are often grown in the dark and contain very little D2. However, certain brands are treated with ultraviolet, UV light. These mushrooms can provide 130 to 450 U of vitamin D2 per 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. 7. Fortified Foods. Natural sources of vitamin D are limited, especially if you're a vegetarian or don't like fish. Fortunately, some food products that don't naturally contain vitamin D are fortified with this nutrient. Cow's milk. Cow's milk. The most commonly consumed type of milk, is naturally a good source of many nutrients, including calcium, phosphorus, and riboflavin. In several countries, cow's milk is fortified with vitamin D. It usually contains about 115 to 130 per cup, 237 milliliters, or about 15 to 22 percent of the DV. Soy milk. Because vitamin D is found almost exclusively in animal products, vegetarians and vegans are at a particularly high risk of not getting enough. For this reason, plant-based milk substitutes like soy milk are often fortified with this nutrient and other vitamins and minerals usually found in cow's milk. One cup, 237 milliliters, typically contains 107 to 117 new of vitamin D or 13 to 15 percent of the DV. Orange juice. Around 75 percent of people worldwide are lactose intolerant, and another 2 to 3 percent have a milk allergy. For this reason, some countries fortify orange juice with vitamin D and other nutrients, such as calcium. One cup, 237 milliliters. A fortified orange juice with breakfast can start your day off with up to 100 to a vitamin D, or 12% of the DV. Cereal and Oatmeal Certain cereals and instant oatmeal are also fortified with vitamin D. Half a cup, 78 grams, of these foods can provide 54 to 136 so, or up to 17% of the DV. Though fortified cereals and oatmeal provide less vitamin D than many natural sources, they can still be a good way to boost your intake. Vitamin D and Calcium Vitamin D is necessary for the absorption of calcium, which plays a key role in maintaining bone strength and skeletal integrity. Getting enough of both vitamin D and calcium is crucial to maintaining bone health and protecting against disorders like osteoporosis a condition that is characterized by weak, brittle bones. Children and adults aged 1 to 70 need approximately 600 to of vitamin D per day, and it can come from a combination of food sources and sunlight. Meanwhile, adults over 70 should aim for at least 800 to 20 mcg of vitamin D per day. The daily value, DV, a rating system used on the labels of packaged food, is 800 to per day calcium needs also vary by age. 
Children aged 1 to 8 require about 2,500 mg of calcium daily, and those ages 9 to 18 need approximately 3,000 mg daily. Adults ages 19 to 50 generally require about 2,500 mg daily, which decreases to 2,000 mg daily for those over age 50.